Hello and welcome to the Sim Hanger, the Sim Hanger for all things flight sim related. And welcome to the third and concluding part in our series where we're looking at the RTX 2080 Ti graphics card in X-Plane and Prepared. In part one, we put X-Plane to the test and in part two, Prepared version 4.5. And today we're going to be examining and looking at the results to see which one performed the best. We tested both simulators using two different Orbix sceneries. The first was a light to medium test, Monument Valley, and the second was the real stress test, which was True Earth, Great Britain South. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for future notifications. Thank you. Before we dive into the results, here's a quick montage of the various aircraft and sceneries used in part one and part two. Enjoy. Results presented today are a combination of my hardware and software configuration. Results for other configurations will of course vary. For details on my PC specification, resolutions, scenery and aircraft add-ons, as well as the various settings used within the simulators, please refer to part 1 and part 2 in this series. I'll leave links to these videos in the notes below. In part 1 we put the 2080 Ti to test in X-Plane and in part 2 in Prepared. There were no tweaks or changes to any of the config files in the simulator. One final and important point before getting to the results is load times. Now True Earth Great Britain South is a large file by any measure, but in Prepared well, be prepared, because the load times vary between 4 and more commonly 5 minutes. On a number of occasions I thought my system had given up the ghost and hung. You've just got to be patient and stick with it. To gauge and assess the various flight simulators' performance, we've used a combination of specific measurements using MSI's afterburner, but it's not all just about statistics. So we've also used a number of subjective tests in terms of look, feel and level of immersion. Let's start off by having a look at the graphics card. Temperature is pretty much the same, but what is noticeable is how much better utilization X-Plane is making of the memory on the graphics card. Turning now to the CPU, the same can be said in terms of system RAM usage. In terms of core measurement, I've used Core 1 for prepared and Core 4 for explain as it seemed to be the most heavily taxed. And it does highlight how CPU bound prepared is. I've measured frames per second performance in both clear and foggy conditions. Prepared recording a much, much higher frames per second, although X-Plane and Prepared were both fairly smooth. Here's a quick summary of the results we've seen so far. Whilst the settings for both simulators were not exactly the same, they were fairly close. 
Let's now turn to my subjective scores and it's pretty much like for like across the board. However, in terms of the visuals, the scenery, etc., I have scored prepared slightly higher as there was better detail on the ground textures, trees and shrubs. On to the final combined scores. I have scored performance out of a total of 5 and the level of immersion and feel of the simulator a total of 15, giving X-Plane 17.5 and prepared 18.5. So my vote for Monument Valley goes to prepared. For Orbix's Great Britain South, we've used exactly the same testing parameters. In the CPU department, explain taking more advantage of the memory available to it compared to prepared. This is not a true like-for-like -like comparison as I had to turn down the prepared settings lower than the explain settings to make it flyable. The 100% utilization of Core 1 under prepared started to push the CPU temperature upwards. X-Plane seemed to have a more equitable distribution of the workload across its cores. The frames per second performance is not a true like-for-like -like comparison as the prepared settings under the selected mark are lower than the X-Plane. A more reasonable comparison is on the max settings. Here is a summary of the results that we've seen so far. The scenery complexity, density and draw distance had to be limited in prepared to achieve these results. Now turning to the subjective tests, no surprise that X-Plane comes out fairly dominant in all areas due to the higher scenery setting and smoother performance overall. And now on to our final scores for Great Britain South. Under Great Britain South, X-Plane was the clear winner by some margin in all categories. It was a much more pleasurable flying experience. Well, a mixed bag of results, prepared pulling ahead just by a nose, mainly due to scenery detail in the light to medium test Monument Valley. But in terms of the real stress test, Great Britain South and flying over central London, well, X-Plane was the clear winner in my book. If you're interested in flight simulation, then don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for future notifications. Well, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.